Hey friends, it's Wickedy here. Welcome back to the Chickity Farm. It's the 23rd day of summer. Oh, we got the monoculture achievement in the last episode for selling uh, 300 blueberries. Maybe I should pick up that hat. That would be pretty nice. Changed up from the trash can lid. Okay, what is our weather like tomorrow? Uh, clear and sunny. And the fortune says... Neutral. Okay, that's fine. I guess we can do whatever we want again. Um, I'll pop this here. <laughs> Put something in that eventually. Okay. Looks like quite a few things to harvest and, um, no resins or syrups or anything like that. Alright, first things first, let's grab our watering can and get our chores taken care of for today. Just the basics. You know, I'm not getting as much mail as I would want by this time. I'm friends with like Emily and a couple other people and they're not sending me any gifts. Maybe I ask for too much. Oh well. Got another round of coffee to go here. Keep us caffeinated and speedy going. Yeah, um, mostly gift-wise, I was really wanting some stuff from Emily so she could send us that wool to save me from having to upgrade the barn or coop more. Eh, hey, you dog meat. Hmm, maybe we'll just have to upgrade anyways. It's not really looking like she's gonna be that dependable. Ooh, got some good mushrooms today. Thank you very much. Plop these in here, save them for later. And check on our animals. What is our hay situation though? Doing okay. I'm gonna check these wriggle worms out. It's some clay. Hooray. Hooray for clay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Couple of eggs. Get some mayonnaise going to start the day off right and see what our animals are up to. Hey, ya chickies. Yeah, some chicken eggs. Not looking like any duck eggs today. That's okay, we just got some, so it'll happen eventually. Our dino egg is still in the incubator, working, working, working. Uh, it takes a little while for the dino egg to be ready, honestly. So it might be a bit. All right, let's check on our cows. Hey, cows. How you? How you, moo? Moo. <laughs> All right, let's get some milk. Nice large milk, thank you. We'll make some great cheese. Most of the cheese that I'm collecting right now, I'm just gonna stock up until, you know, we need it in Skull Cavern or something like that later in the future. Um, my fish are doing fine. They still want an oyster. Uh, we'll have to look into getting that sometime soon to make them happy. Baby fishes need their treats. Oh, what do you think they're even going to do with that oyster anyways? Anyways, so there is one last fish in the summertime that we need to get, which I completely forgot about, and it's the tilapia, um, because I'm usually never over at the ocean in the morning, so we're going to see if we can get that. Might as well use this lure, too, and then we'll check for some oysters and things like that as well. Plop this in here, thank you very much, and... What else am I going to do real quick? Well, I do have uh, quite a bit of money right now kind of stocking up. I'm thinking I want to either upgrade the coop or the barn. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to upgrade first. Well, if we upgrade the barn one more time, we can start having baby cows. So that might be the best idea. I do still need to have plenty of money for the first of fall as well, so we can pick up a ton of seeds for that day, but we have a few days to collect some stuff, especially if I'm going to have another harvest or two before then. Anyways, I have the gold for it. I do just need a bit more wood for it too. About a hundred a day should be okay. Get some more coffee going here. And get all of these good crops watered and harvested and sold. <laughs> Let's see here. What is our status? Um, it looks like we're more stone poor than wood poor in order to upgrade stuff that we want, though. Also, looks like we're gonna have to get a, a whole bunch of copper because I am completely 
tapped out of that from making tappers. <laughs> and I'll be able to collect stones while we're doing that too. I'll grab these little bits so we can bring them with us. Mm, what am I going to do with these Omni Geodes? Mm, maybe we'll crack a few open? And give Clint this topaz while we're at it. Still working on a friendship at least with someone a day? I don't know. I'm gonna bribe him with a little bit here and there. And I think uh, bring another topaz if we happen to see Emily just so we can maybe have her send me something. I know I keep wanting that but she never listens. Or she doesn't do what I want, but whatever. Whatever, Emily. You do you. And I will just wait for that wool someday. Alright, let's get a Geoda Kraken. First things first. Alright. All these Omni Geodes. Let's see what you got for us, Mr. Clintman. Copper. Nice. And we'll just sell all the extra bits. Um, looks like that just about pays for um, all the geos we cracked. Just down about like 50, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Hey, Clint. I will take you up on that upgrade offer someday soon. <laughs> not today. Hey, a penny. Um, let's donate these extra bits. Donate to the museum. Oh, and two rewards. Nice. Get something good. What is it at right now? Oh, three rewards. And we got the achievement for a treasure trove. Fantastic. What do we get though? 40 different. Okay, fantastic. Pumpkin seeds for fall time. We'll need that absolutely. Oh, and actually this spring, the singing stone is actually probably my favorite reward that you can get from here. I just really like the way it sounds and it looks pretty cool too. But I'm happy to have all of these. Rare crow also, but I think I'm going to come back for them later because Gunther will hold on to them for us. All right, I'm going to, oh, hey, Sam, how's it going? Nice to see ya. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can give this topaz to Emily if she's around. Elliot Fancy Hair is here. Hey, Elliot. Nice to see ya. Beautiful shells. Yes, please let me know if there's any oysters. I would like one, please. Not that beautiful, but still. Um, Emily, are you home? No. Where is she at right now? Where... Is she working? I don't think she works this early though, but the thing is, the saloon is open right now, so it's, I guess it's worth a take a peek. I think she doesn't work until, yeah, later in the evening. Hmm, maybe she's wandering around somewhere. Oh, hey, Leah. How's it going with you? Someday I'll give you all the goat cheese that you can eat. Hope you're not lactose intolerant. Um, oysters, oysters. Hey, Haley, where's your sister at? Please tell me. Um, better catch that tilapia before <laughs> two o'clock, because someone won't be able to anymore. Ah, uh, is this it? Ooh, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Oh. What do we got? Not a tilapia. It's a red mullet, but we got a geode and a nautilus shell. A not a nautilus. It's fine. We still got a little bit of time. A little bit. I was kind of pushing it today. It's getting distracted by... I don't know. I'm trying to find my girl. My other girl? One of my girls. And another mullet. Well, yep, it's due, so 
the lobby is not even going to be showing up anymore. I guess we'll offload these extra fish on to Willy. Hey, Willy. How are you? Please take these fishy things. I don't think I really have any gifts for you, but we really should be giving things to Willy. He's a pretty swell fella. Pretty swell fella. That's for sure. I don't think I need anything from him. Not right now. Eventually. Eventually we'll be able to get an Iridium Rod. Okay, let's check the Tide Pool Beach and see what we have over here. Oh, hey. Didn't we just see you? Oh. Sea Urchin and... Wow. One Coral. That was... Man, it was so worth it coming down here today. At least we got a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> Alright, um, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Let's see. Probably go get some copper. Yeah, we will go pop over to the mines, but I gotta go see about a girl real quick. Mm-hmm, gotta see about a girl. Uh, still not here. Okay. Well, I tried. I'm sure she's somewhere. Uh, uh, her shift probably doesn't start until 5, honestly. Maybe she's doing some shopping. Oh! Oh yeah. Oh, duh. It's Tuesday. It's the day that all the gals get together to break out a sweat. Hey, Emily. You say exercising is fun. I don't believe you. Here, take this. Love me, please. Look, I've given you so many things. Are you going to be giving me anything? All the gals are in a little circle hanging out. What about Emily? You guys just kick her out of your little thing? Is she not, like, part of the cool old lady club? Oh, uh, whatever. Rude. Alright, let's mosey on out. The older women in town probably just think Emily's a little weird, but... Don't worry, Emily. I don't think you're weird. I think you're fresh, exciting, and just my style. Oh, hey, Abigail. How are you? <laughs> uh, you almost feel dizzy. Oh, it's because I'm here. I see. Yeah, I feel that way too when I look in the mirror. <laughs> okay, enough flirting. Let's go to the mines and get some copper maybe find some amethyst to give Abigail for a tasty treat. <laughs> Get these bars going. All right, so as much as I would rather be wandering around in like the frozen levels for coal and things like that, I have to get copper. That's gonna be a priority. Oh, and swarm. So if we happen to come across a swarm, I'm gonna try and see if um, any of these bugs, since we're in the areas with a whole bunch of bugs, if any of the bugs drop ancient seeds for me, that would be lovely. I still haven't gotten one. Oh well, that's fine. Maybe it'll happen eventually next year. <laughs> yeah, probably next year. Oh right, I almost forgot. You have to actually go all the way up to the main floor before you pop to the same floor that you were on. Because once you head back up to the entrance of the mines, then it kind of resets the mines. Sometimes I forget. That's okay. I'm um, doing okay copper-wise. We'll just keep these going. Keep these rotating. And I definitely need some more stone too, if we're going to be crafting any farm buildings. Alright, back to 20 and back to it. Alright, it's getting late. I shouldn't be spending too much more time in the mines as much as I want to just keep going and going. I uh, gotta wrap it up eventually. Let's grab all these goodies that we need for the farm. I don't need them here, but we'll need the copper bars. I would like to have some more. Always, always, always want more. <laughs> uh, this is Stardew though. Alright, let's grab all these other things um, that we 
left in the box and can bring and put in a different box over the farm because I might need the slimes for crafting things sometime soon. <laughs> Gotta get home or I'm gonna turn into a pumpkin. Oh, if only I could turn into a golden pumpkin, I could turn it into a witch hat for myself. Actually, no, yeah, no, that's not exactly how it works. But in any case, it's pretty late. Oh, and we have lots of good things. Hmm. I don't think I have time to collect the maple syrup, but we can at least grab that honey real quick so we can get it prepared and ready for having the next batch come in. And let me drop all of my resources off, my basics, my staples. Mm, let's see here. I think I have everything that we need in order to upgrade. I think I'm gonna actually upgrade the barn next just so we can start getting those cows going. Um, so they can have babies and stuff. And then I can get a goat, yes. I'll be fun. All right, good night, dog meat. Um, good night to everyone else. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Let's see if anything exciting happened. No level ups, that's okay. We'll just eat a bunch of food in the morning, I guess. Uh, 1300, nothing to write home about, but still, every little bit helps. All right, let's get this rolling. It's the 24th day of the summer. And it's a let's day. Ooh, apple tree wasn't able to grow last night. Oh, gotta keep an eye on that because I want it to grow and to get me all the apples we can in the fall time. Um, okay, what is um the weather? It's really nice that it tells me though in the corner. Uh, sunny and clear. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that's about right. Fortune says bats. <laughs> And it is a um, pancakes rerun. Just in case we forgot how to make pancakes from the last time. <laughs> uh, all right, let's roll on out and get this taken care of. So much coffee. Uh, doesn't look like we really have any. Oh, wait, there's one. All right, we'll have to go grab that a little bit. It's just a maple syrup though. It's okay. First things first. We have so many melons to harvest, which is lovely. I'm gonna need some water. I'm gonna take care of our animals before we take care of our crops because priorities. The sooner we take care of them, the sooner we can let them. Hey, a dog meat. Love you too. Um, sooner we can let them roam around and feed their bellies. Oh, I left the gate open last night, didn't I? Hmm, now I'm gonna have to go hunt them down. All right, let's see. Hey, still doing okay. Got one chicken, two, three, uh, four. Well, one of those must have been a duck. There's a cow, and where does the other cow go? Trisha's back there, wasn't she? Hello? Hello, cow. Where'd she go? Did she go back inside? Oh. Uh, 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 I should probably wander around somewhere. Alright, we'll milk this first cow. Thank you for your wonderful milky contribution to the farm. Um, Cthulhu, where are you? Cthulhu, where did you go? My cow. Oh, there you are. She just wander around over there. There's no grass over there. Don't go over there. Thanks. I will take that milk and we'll make another batch of cheese. Then go check on these eggs. One, two. I'll save this stuff in here for now. Make some more mayonnaise. Eventually we'll be able to um, get some more animals in here too. I'll probably put an extra duck egg in the incubator once that dino egg is ready. Fantastic. Plenty for the next batch. Alright, um, 
Oh, sorry fish. I promise I will do my best to find you an oyster. Maybe we'll be able to find one today. I don't know. I'm gonna go get a tilapia today. Probably not. Mm, yeah. Nah. Maybe. Um, in any case, I should probably see what is blocking my apple tree too. Because I want to make sure that one doesn't have any issues with growing throughout the rest of the season. Hop on this coffee real quick to get a hustle on it. And what do we have here? I'm gonna try and always get my hardwood from the stump as often as I can. Ah, quite a few trees. Oh, it's this seed. This seed. That's what was blocking that. Ah, butterflies. Nice. Alright, let me take care of that real quick and get some space for you. I do want to make sure that I have some full grown trees or some trees um, untapped for the fall time because there is a chance of us being able to get a mushroom tree and that would be pretty awesome. I would love a mushroom tree. Okay, got my hundred wood for the day, a few syrups and pine tar, all the sweet, sweet coffee. And oh, I have um, some melons that we can harvest. So I'm just gonna put these wheat seeds, as many as I can, inside of the spots to kind of save the spots. So I don't have to till them again later. And we'll be ready to harvest. If not the last day of summer, then the first day of fall. That uh, should be just fine. All right, let's see here. Got our coffee taken care of. Got all of our chores done for the most part. Seems like it's just about time to get all of my resources together and go get that upgrade. Get that upgrade started with Robin. It's Wednesday, so she should be there. Oh, and it is actually also uh, Willie's birthday today too, so I'm gonna grab a diamond for him. I don't really have anything else that he absolutely loves, but that'll do for him. I'm gonna grab this wood and stone, all the things that we need for that upgrade, and uh, drop a couple extra things off and head on up and get this taken care of. We can make our first duck mayo, so I'll do that. I'm also going to grab my rod so we can do just a little bit of fishing. And also, I'm going to see if I can get an oyster. Since we're going to be going and checking on Willie and bringing him a nice gift anyways. I think I'm going to hold on to this crab in case I ever feel like, um, well, populating a fish pond with that be really fun. Um, there's supposed to be some interesting dialogue that happens with Willy if you ever have a full crab pond. Wait, let's see here. Get that taken care of. I'll probably hop up to Robin's first to get our upgrade started for the barn because Willy's gonna be just hanging around the ocean doing his Willy thing, you know. You know how he does. Oop. Play and more clay and more clay <laughs> well well plenty of clay now that's for sure couple of spice berries how nice sugary spice oh lots of grapes too i'll come back and pick that up but first things first robin please may i have an upgrade to a big old barn all right um, birth to, yes, and goats. We'll get goats and all that things <laughs> at a later time. Which barn? <laughs> the only barn that I have. <laughs> uh, you should know this, Robin. All right, she's going to get started on it first thing tomorrow. So it's going to take a few days and then we'll have a lovely barn ready and the ability to have some baby cows and goats. We got to keep this girl working. Thank you so much, Robin, for all that you do for me. Keeping things upgraded and nice. Oh, Linus. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, some grapes. Like that. Hey, come back. I have some treats for you. Yes. 
That's just for you. Hmm. All right, Linus, have a good rest of your day. I'm going to take a shortcut. It'll be a little bit easier to get to the ocean from up here, but first things first, let's take care of a couple of bars, get some more. Ooh, copper, so low. Always low on copper. And a little bit more iron too, since we're here. Might as well. All right, Willy, I am coming for you. After I check these trash cans. <laughs> Ooh. That lid flipped? Interesting. Okay. Well, it's after five, so Willy's not going to be in the shop anymore, but he'll still be wandering around. I think he's uh, going to be fishing at the docks. Check this last trash can since Lewis popped inside. Never even saw it coming. Oysters? Mm, wriggle worm? I've already got that one. Don't really need it. Uh, there's a couple things over here, I guess. There's Leah and some coral, so that counts as a couple. And nothing else, though. Bummer. I really wanted that oyster for my fish. I'll just have to keep an eye out for it. Oh, and there's none over here either. Okay. Hey, you Willy. Meeting Willy at the, in the docks. Um, let's see. I have this for you. Happy birthday. Of course I did. Four out of ten. Fantastic. So, we're making some great progress with him. Eventually, we'll get all of the recipes unlocked that he has, but we have to get to level nine with him for that. <laughs> it's probably going to be a while. Hey, Abigail. What's going on? Let's live in an old farmhouse like you. Hmm, Abigail, are you insinuating something? <laughs> Creek of a floorboard. Mm -hmm. Abigail. Oh, hey, Elliot, how's it going? Uh, yes, it is very satisfying. <laughs> infused. My essence infused in the fruit. It's a little weird, but he's a poet. What can I say? Hey, a penny, how's it going? Should take the children on a field trip. Mm, yeah, that would be fun. Maybe they'll get lost in there. Oh, yeah, I think out loud all the time, Penny. All the time. Let's see if there's um, anything else I can catch real quick before we head on home. Some green algae. Oh, looks like I'm a day late to get that to Evelyn. Um, Maybe I'll get this course to George sometime soon. Got some bread in the trash, so that's lovely. Got a couple of things laying around. Okie dokie. I think for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to do a little bit of clean up around the farm and get myself prepared to start setting up the southern area of the farm for a couple other things. I should have enough, well, almost enough algae and seaweed in order to get another fish pond here soon, which is fantastic. our midnight mushrooms and I actually think uh, my duck mayonnaise is all done too. Not that we really need it for anything right now but a little extra money never hurt me for sure. Mm, nice batch of coffee. Um, Yeah no more wine for just yet and usually I would be saving my wine to age but it's gonna be a while so I'd rather just sell it for now until um, eventually we upgrade the house all the way. Uh, I have a couple of iridium bars, so I'm actually going to be making a couple of iridium sprinklers. Not that I'm going to use it just yet, but fall is coming up pretty soon. And so I'm going to be setting up an area and needing those. And eventually I'll start working on making some more sprinklers and setting up a whole thing. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. Probably need another, um... Hmm, what is it? Another scarecrow for down south also. Anything else that I need to make though? 
think so. Not just yet. Ooh, slime crust. Slimes would be fun to have on this farm. Hey, I think tomorrow I'm going to be working on doing the layout for the other areas of the farm. So I'm going to be taking some time to um, check out the Stardew Valley planner site so I can figure out exactly how I want things to be. Hot pepper jelly into the box. Hopefully none of those break open. <laughs> I can see Lewis opening it up a jar and... <laughs> Oh, level eight of foraging. Fantastic. We've got the farm totem for warping back home and extra berry harvesting just in time for fall time too for the blackberries. Well, that's just swell. And now we're going to have full energy in the morning again. Just when I was thinking I was going to be on the struggle bus. All right. Money wise. Ooh, need a little bit. Almost 5,000, not too bad. Melon wine though. Yes, that's great. That's fantastic. And duck mayonnaise for 375. All right, on to tomorrow. Busy day. It's the 25th. There's going to be a lot of stuff I have to do around the farm today, Thursday. Uh, all right, let's see what our weather tomorrow's gonna be like. Oh, a thunder and lightning storm, fantastic. Stock up on some extra batteries. Uh, Fortune says... Golden Pyramid. Fantastic. Well, it's going to be a good day today so far. Looking like it. What is our living off the land tip? Fall is almost here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to remind me. I am stressing about making sure that we have everything organized in time. Um... I don't know if I'm going to be upgrading my watering can, though. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get down to the farm and get things started. Ooh, lots of good things to harvest. Oh. And we have uh, coffee ready and all that stuff, too. So even though some of those melons are ready to be picked now, um, I'm going to actually wait until the end of the week, until the very last day, in hopes that maybe, 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 just maybe, I get a giant crop out of that so we can get some extras because I'm not going to be planting anything in their place anyways until the first of fall. So I might as well just hold them there. Plus, they don't need any extra watering after that, too. All right. Now for wrapping up some summertime things, I still haven't caught a tilapia yet, but I do have all of fall to get that too, so I'm not going to push it too much. I think it'll be okay. Let's see, let's grab our watering can, we'll get dog meat watered, uh, have some things to cut down as well. And what else should we do today? Oh, that's right. It is time to get ourselves set up for the fall time because... It's going to be quite the season. I think fall time is usually when I make the most money, especially with like cranberries and pumpkins and things like that. All right, let's check the mail. Willie's given us the recipe for some chowder. Lovely. What do you want, George? A uh, hot pepper? Eh, I'll get around to it. You'll just have to suffer until then. <laughs> oh, speaking of, actually, we should probably just bring him the refined quartz and a hot pepper at the same time. I can be a good neighbor, right? Fine quartz, and we don't want to give him one of those gold ones. He can have a regular one. It's just gonna get, like, rubbed on his knee? I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, the best idea, George. Can you handle your spice at your age? Anyways, let's pop on this coffee and get busy! Busy. First things first, of course. Gotta take care of our animals because eh, I want to make sure that they have plenty of time to roam around and snack on all the snacky things and whatnot around the farm. Get their little bites of grass. Part of our organizing or reorganizing is going to be adding some paths and fences around here. Dino Egg is not ready yet. Hey, Patrick. Please, like, can you move, please? Can you, uh, he doesn't want to give me his egg. <laughs> uh, move, move, Patrick. Patrick the chicken. 
Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, it was fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, let's make a little extra mayo. Save the extra bits in here for later, and I'll probably sell that mayo when we have another round ready. Oh, Robin is working hard on our barn upgrade. Thanks, Robin. Gabriella, the cow is doing fantastic, and so is Cthulhu. Back to regular quality milk, though, or regular size. Come on, you guys, you know better. You know better. It's sure it's a it's a silver star, but still, I'm picky. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of cleanup to do. Oh, still no oyster though, huh? I'm gonna set this area up so that I can set up some pathing. So, and like a little processing area for the cheese and the mayo machines later. This is going to have uh, my kegs along the edges here, as well as a path all the way down. And then I think I'm gonna eventually have my slime, like, hutch down that way too. I don't know, I'm still deciding on that. But, let's get started on harvesting these um, pots. I don't need to water those melons anymore. But I can harvest the extra melons that don't have an opportunity to turn into, um, what are they called? The giant crops. There's a few over there that just aren't in the right position. Um, I think I have enough seeds, sunflower seeds, to plant those. Let me decide on that. Yep, these are the ones that are not going to do any good for me. Oh, sunflowers are actually available to grow during the fall time too, so... Um, might as well have them grow. They take eight days, I think it is. Yeah. I don't know if I want to have a whole ton, like, all over the place. That row should be just fine, though. Yeah, that should be just fine. I'm not worried about it too much. I just do want to have plenty of space for all of the cranberries and all the other things that I'm going to be happy. Have enough coffee? Yeah, I have enough coffee beans to make some more coffee. I mean, that, it only takes about two in our games to make. I'm not that worried about having it, like, um, holding up the kegs for a while. I'll still easily be able to move them later. Alright, I gotta bring that hot pepper and refined quartz to George. Um, I gotta do some math sometime soon to see what seeds I need for next season and uh, grab a whole bunch of ooh, a seed maker would be lovely sometime soon. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of stone and a couple of things so I could set out a layout to make my life just a little bit easier. Because for me, if I set up what the structure of the farm is going to look like sooner rather than later, it's going to make my life so much easier. Ugh, unlike the mess of a field I have right now. Actually, you know, it's fine. It's not too bad. All right, Pierre, how's it going? I was thinking of seeing if there's anything else I'm going to need from summertime a good idea to grab the recipe for the grass starter right now too just so we can keep a nice healthy happy supply of grass in the fields what else you got for me that i want um i might actually want to pick up cherry and apricot saplings sometime soon i don't need them but i'd like to have them so that in the springtime i have at least one of each tree. Eventually I want to have one of each tree anyways. Hmm. That's 5,400 gold right now. Ooh, peach too. Anyways, I think I'm okay for seeds. I was thinking about like getting some wheat seeds to put into the spots in the farm right now because those are good for about four days, but... I think I'm just gonna let them go and then hoe the rest. All right, George. Hey, how are you today? Hi, Evelyn. How's it going? Oh, coconut palm tree shaped cookies. Interesting. Well, sorry. Am I blocking? Am I blocking you? <laughs> yes, this is what you posted. You're welcome. Give me some money. 150, thanks. And. Also, George, while I'm here, how's your knee? 
<laughs> uh, hopefully that helps alleviate that just a little bit. George and I are like two peas in a pod at three. It's fine. But got that taken care of. Didn't want him waiting on me for too long. All right. Oh, Elliot, you are blocking my trash path. Do you know I need, I need to see. What do we got? Oh, a broken CD. Well, that's fine. Eh, I'm sure it'll make a nice refined quartz bar or something like that. All right. Um, what exactly am I doing right now? I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh, check these trashes on our way back home. Leah is not close enough, so we're good. Hey, how's it going? Oh, ooh, a lot of food in the area if you know where to look. So, is that a request for a salad or like a dandelion or something? Probably. All right, Jazz is out here staring at the moo cows because she's got nothing better to do with her Thursday. Thanks. All right, um... Let's see. Cobblestone. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we're doing. Okay. I'm going and I'm organizing the farm. I really love the straw flooring for um, outside of where I keep my cheese maker and my mayo machine. I just like the way it looks. But for the most part, we're going to be using cobblestone paths all around because I don't have the regular stone path. Eventually, I want to upgrade to one of the newer floorings. I really also liked the weather weathered flooring a lot too, but this is what we're just going to have to do for now. Get these coffee going and yeah, let's get to it. Actually, before I dig into all of that, I'm going to go pop over to the mines real quick so I can see what our bar status is. Probably get some more iron and uh, copper going too, just so we can have them for crafting. Uh, definitely going to need some more if I'm going to be making some more sprinklers as well. Uh, iron. We'll have to pick up some more copper again here soon. But until then, this will just have to do. At least we'll keep it uh, going so we're not wasting too much time. Uh, eventually, I should crack the rest of these geodes. I forgot these are in here. Take them with me, I suppose. See if we get some nice goodies over from Clint sometime soon. Actually, yeah, let's go do that right now before I dig into anything else and keep some clear space here and see if there's anything fun that we can get. Since he closes soon enough. Nothing in his trash, but hey Clint, how's it going? Please take my regular geodes. And magma and frozen in. What do we got here? And what's in the last geode? Oh, more stone. Well, that wasn't very exciting. Okay, let's see. Pyrite. Uh, I'm just going to separate the things that I need for Gunther so I can organize when I sell to Clint. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the marble so we can make marble braziers at some point. Just in case I want to. Ooh, lemon stone's nice. And the rest we can sell. Yeah. See if we can get our money back at least. Nice that we got a little extra stone and some ores for making some more bars. Didn't really need the gold right now. I feel like I have too much of that, but I'm sure I'll need it eventually. Sell all these goodies to Clint. Take, 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 take all this stuff. All right, thank you. Gonna donate these extra bits to Gunther. Got another reward. Oh, that's right. We do have the rare crow and the pumpkin seeds and the obsidian vase was the new one. Um, the pumpkin seeds we're going to need for the beginning of the season and the rare crow is what I'll be using in my southern field, which is fantastic. Then I can save myself from having to make another one and wasting coal on it. All right, up to the mine so we can drop off the goodies and grab of our other things. Oh, what should I do with these dwarf helms? 
Hmm, probably just sell those, honestly. Unless I uh, eventually open up and unlock the dwarf, but he doesn't like it as much as he likes other things as a gift, so probably just sell that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Since I'm up this way, I'm going to head on over to Robin's Place the Carpenters to get some recipes for some new floors and... Ooh. Wait, why is Robin not here today? <laughs> Guys, I forgot. She's working on upgrading our barn right now. And um, <laughs> that would be why she's not here. Can't buy anything from her right now, can I? You know, I don't spend enough time coming up to the railroad area. Please, fashion. Anyways, I, honestly, I don't really use this area all that much. Really could set up some trees and tappers and things up here. That would be pretty nice, but... Yeah, I honestly, I almost never use the bathhouse. Unless I'm very out of energy. Which doesn't really happen all that much anymore. Huh. Maybe I'll think of something nice that we can do up here. Ooh, some decorating would be lovely. But I do need all of these stones so we can uh, do some decorating around the farm. All right, well, it looks like I have a maple and uh, something else over here. Oh, it's just a tree I need to cut down. But um, I think maybe I'll make some more beehives as well, just so we can start getting some more honey. I really like having honey, especially now that we can do sunflower honey. I think that's pretty cool. I like it. All right, and for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to do some layout, some organizing and setting up things where I would like them to be. I'm gonna be using a lot of cobblestone path. I actually might have to pick up some more rocks and stones and stuff here soon too, but I'm gonna do my best to set up as much as I can before I pass out tonight. I mean, not pass out, or just, I mean, go to bed. Before I go to bed tonight. All right. So I know it's not like a proper dog house for dog meat, but I feel like uh, straw on wood is a little bit more comfortable than laying on what he's been laying on on the ground. Although, I honestly would just, just prefer he hung out with me at home anyways. But, yeah, we're gonna set that up and make him a nice little spot too. Guys, I'm actually thinking of doing a speed cleanup of quite a few of my very messy farms that I have on different save files too. If you're interested in me making a video like that, be sure to let me know. I thought it would be pretty fun to do since they are a mess and they definitely need a little love and attention and some work. Eventually, I'm just going to trade these paths out for some different ones in the future. But for now, the cobblestone is what we're going to be dealing with and I'm okay with that. Eventually, there's going to be just like, uh, I don't know, I really want to fill this area up with flowers and all that, but I have to remember this is not Animal Crossing. <laughs> and I actually have to water the flowers, they're not just decorative, like in that sill. I'll get another round of coffee and it is pretty late. I don't have any more time to do any more organizing today. It really takes up a lot of time, but I'm definitely going to be working on this project of making my farm look really nice over the next few days. All right, good night, dog meat. And good night to all of you. We'll see you in the next episode. But first, no level ups. Did make just a little bit of money from some sunflowers, not the too crazy, a little bit of hops, you know. Well, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me on the chickadee farm. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to be working on cleaning up the farm a lot more. If you're interested in hanging out with me while I'm streaming a new farm play, I'm doing the farm to table challenge over on Twitch three days a week. So feel free to pop by and say hi. Thank you again to all of my wonderful patrons for everything you've been doing for me, for supporting me. You guys are the best. Thank you again. I'm Wickedy, thanks so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>